Serengeti National Park, with its vast herds of ungulates and their associated predators, is the outstanding example of a large mammal ecosystem which resembles that of the Pleistocene epoch. When mankind developed as a hunter the nearby archaeological site and Olduvai Gorge, included in the adjacent Ngorongoro Conservation Unit World Heritage Site, demonstrates that this was the habitat where mankind evolved in Africa. The Serengeti area, together with Ngorongoro, is large enough to ensure the survival of this savanna ecosystem in perpetuity, provided it can be maintained at its current level of protection. Serengeti is an area savanna and open woodland comprising some 1.5 million hectares. It contains the largest herds of grazing animals in the world, providing a wildlife spectacle that is second to none. The Serengeti ecosystem is one of the oldest on Earth. The essential features of climate, vegetation and fauna have barely changed in the past million years. Early man himself made an appearance in Olduvai Gorge about two million years ago. Some patterns of life, death, adaptation and migration are as old as the hills themselves. For centuries, the vast wilderness of the Serengeti Plains remained virtually uninhabited, but about 100 years ago, the nomadic Maasai came down from the north with their cattle. Birds are one of the most diverse life forms on Earth. They fill a wide variety of ecological roles. They are herbivores, insectivores, predators and scavengers. Serengi hosts more than 540 bird species of residents and migrants. Serengeti comes from the word Serenget, which in the Maasai language means a great open space, a place where the land goes on forever. Until just 100 years ago, only Maasai herdsmen and a few hunter-gatherers knew of the existence of these great game-filled plains. The park can be divided into three sections, the popular southern central park, the Sierra Nera Valley and the land of endless plains. The zebra includes six subspecies that each differ in the pattern of their black and white stripes. The blue or brindle gnu is also known as the wild beast. Follow zebra herds which graze on tall grasses, leaving the shorter grasses for gnus and other herbivores. Zebra all graze in large herds on tall grasses. Some zebra herds number in the tens of thousands, but within these larger herds are distinct family groups, composed of a male, several females and their young. It is the migration for which Serengeti is perhaps most famous. The great migration herds of perhaps 2 million wild beasts, 900,000 Thompson gazelles and 300,000 zebras are continuously moving through the entire ecosystem. But the site is most impressive in May and June, when the animals travel en masse from the central plains to the permanent water holes on the western side of the park. Thompson's gazelles are mainly grazers, feeding on grasses, herbs and leaves of plants in the open plains. Their herds, which are composed of a dominant male, females and their young, contain anywhere from 5 to 50 individuals. The dominant male marks off his territory with urine and feces and regularly patrols its perimeter to keep his herd together. When he meets another male, they go head to head and push each other to establish rank. Its landscape, originally formed by volcanic activity, has been sculptured by the concerted action of wind, rain and sun. It now varies from open grass plains in the south, 
savanna with scattered acacia trees in the center, hilly wooded grasslands in the north to extensive woodland and black clay plains to the west. Small rivers, lakes and swamps are scattered throughout. In the southeast rise the great volcanic massives and craters of the Nongorongoro Highlands. The meadows along the shore of the lake and forests are home to a wide variety of wildlife including leopard, hippos, various birds and a variety of monkeys. In the tall trees of the groundwater forest, monkeys leap from branch to branch like a baboon. The verve monkey is a light-colored monkey with black face, hands and feet, the males having a blue scrotum. They feed on plants, insects and occasionally small vertebrates. Forming groups with a strict social ranking, vervet monkeys frequent wooded habitats, typically associated with the riverine vegetation. The troops vary in size from 6 to 50 individuals with one or more males. It is a typical African savanna species with a journal lifestyle. Leopards are solitary big cats that live all over Africa and as far as Southeast Asia. Wherever there is sufficient tree cover for them to hide in. They are stealthy hunters, preferring to pounce rather than chase their prey. While they are not generally a threat to humans, they will eat just about everything else, from bucks to gazelles, baboons to dogs. Leopards haunt the acacia trees lining in the Sirenura River, while a high density of cheetahs prowls the southeastern plains. There are around 1,500 cheetahs living in the Serengeti, the second largest population anywhere in the world. More than 3,000 lions call the Serengeti home. It's possible to see them lounging on a kopje, rocky outcrops that provide excellent views over the savanna. Social groups of lions, called prides, are composed of 1 to 3 males, 2 to 15 females and their offspring. The lion is Africa's largest carnivore and the only known social cat. It is of low build but very large and powerful, with a short tawny coat, white underpart and a black tail tuft. Spending most of the day resting, they become active in the late afternoon but can be seen hunting any time of day. The western corridor is marked by the Grometi River and has more forests and dense bush. The plains of Serengeti are mainly crystalline rocks overlain by volcanic ash with numerous granitic rock outcrops. In the north, and along the western corridor are mountain ranges of mainly volcanic origin. Two rivers flowing west usually contain water and there are a number of lakes, marshes and waterholes. The giraffe is the tallest living animal with an elongated neck a short erect mane, shoulders higher than croup and a long black tuft on the tail. Their coat has brown to rich chestnut patches, separated by a network of light coloured bands. And their head is crowned with two horns, males with one additional middle horn and four small humps. Arid and dry savanna with trees form their habitat, feeding mainly on broad-leaved deciduous foliage 
which they browse with their long tongue. Giraffes are non-territorial and sociable, living in loose open herds, but also solitary. Warthogs belong to the bull family. These tough animals are distinguished by large heads and warts, or thick protective pads, on both sides of the head. They also have spots of dense fur on the throat and back. Both male and female warthogs have tusks, although the male's tusks are much larger. Standing 2.4 meters tall and weighing 135 kilos, the common ostrich is the largest living bird. The Defasa waterbuck is a big shaggy antilope with a long body and neck, with a grizzle grey-brown coat of coarse hair, neck mane and rough. It has black lower legs, a white rump patch and white underparts, throat, eyebrow line and snout. The horns are curved forward, thick and deeply rigid. The buffalo is the bulkiest and most formidable African bovid with a broad head and a wide mouth. It is black to dark brown, old bulls often with a grizzle head, older calves yellow-brown to reddish-brown in color. All adults grow horns, but males have a broad horn base shielding their forehead. Over 500 bird species include 34 raptors, 6 vultures and aggregations of over 20,000 water birds. Being barrel-shaped and short-legged, this amphibious mammal has a head with enormously expanded muscle enlarged canines and especially lower middle incisors, up to 50 centimeters. It has a naked brown to grey-purple skin with pink underparts. Hippopotamuses need water deep enough to submerge and nearby grassland to feed. As they are highly gregarious in water, they forage alone with bulls keeping territories on land which are defended against intruders. Serengeti National Park is undoubtedly the best-known wildlife sanctuary in the world, unequalled for its natural beauty and scientific value. Serengeti became a national park in 1951 and today is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. <laughs>